Another 2023 innovation from the Sabelle line is the Max Pro Compound Nippers. Like the wheel nippers, you will notice that the Max Pros are much lighter than other compound nippers, weighing in at only 9.5 ounces. Lightweight means less fatigue, and we all love that. They come with this cool storage pouch, an alternative set of blades, and an Allen wrench for changing them. We'll talk more about that in a minute. So we're going to start with nippers in the closed position. This is the way you would store them. And you just loosen this up and they open all the way. I can see now that they're at the 12 millimeter position and I can cut material as thick as 3 eighths of an inch. Now, if I just take a second, we're going to lock them back closed. On the back, there's a little button that says push down. When you push this, you turn it and you could see the jaws are moving closer together. Now I will open them up and you'll see I can't fit this in, but it will work just fine for smaller materials. And they have a compound action, meaning there's built in leverage. So your cuts require less hand strength. Unlike some of the other compound nippers, the jaws close tight enough to cut the thinner high fired porcelains like Cinca. See, I can't cut it with these compound nippers, but with these, it nips super easy. And you can even do some shaping nibble a little more but to get the peaky parts off. Why two blades? Let's just talk about the benefits and uses of each one. The straight blades are primarily designed to cut ceramics just like a small amount of the blade on the edge and it just really nicely shoots the line across. This is some Nova high fire porcelain. I can do it with the Cinca. Real nice cuts. Where the curved blades also are for ceramics, but because the blades are curved more similar to your wheel nippers, you can also cut thick things like tortillas and pizzas and other thicker materials without glass materials specifically without getting all the splintering and crumbling using the allen wrench just loosen these little screws and i like to make sure you're holding it tight over your work surface or even a bowl because we all know how easy it is to lose these tiny little things When you're changing out the blades, you'll notice there's a bevel. That bevel needs to go in. Okay, now we got them both started and I can maybe do it. And don't over tighten the screws, just get them in there. Get them to where they feel tight and just give them a little bit more of a twist. And now we have the curved blades installed. One of the benefits of the curved blade when you're using it on ceramics is you can actually nip little bits out and slowly create rounded. And you have to take a little bit at a time when you do this. You can't like try to just chisel a big piece out, but you can get nice little rounded inside curves. Don't forget to check out our other Seabell tool videos. Mm -hmm.